thank you for joining me this morning for the book of Exodus. We're doing the little devotionals going through. We're in Exodus chapter 25 today, verses 31 and 32. We're moving on to the menorah, the seven-branched candlestick. Here's what these two verses say. Then you shall make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand and its base and its shaft shall be made of hammered work. Its cups, its bulbs, and its flowers shall be of one piece with it. Six branches shall go out from its sides, three branches of the lampstand from its one side, and three branches of the lampstand from its other side. Now, we'll finish the lampstand tomorrow morning, but let's just take these two verses today. So yesterday, we talked about the table of showbread, which was uh, the ritual there was done once a week on the Sabbath. This is different. The, the candle stick here, or the, the lampstand with the seven on it, uh, this is addressed twice a day by the priest. You know, there's oil in these different bowls, and they replenish it twice a day, every day. Another interesting contrast, the table of showbread, you know, the stuff that happens with the table of showbread, it happens up on top of the table. Here we have this lampstand with the seven lamps on it, and it is, it is based on the floor. It is actually a station on the floor, and it comes up out of the floor. We're not told how tall it was. Uh, th those dimensions are not really given. But its placement on the floor and then these branches coming out of either side make it so that it really looked like perhaps a representation of like an olive tree or an almond tree. And so it is, it's looking in some respect like a tree. Some have said this is shaped like it would sort of look like when Moses saw the burning bush out there, uh, a small shrub, you know, out in the desert, uh, very back, back several chapters. So it's interesting to think of this, the way that it's portrayed, it's like a tree. So then we have these two different kinds of trees that it would perhaps be related to. The almond tree, because there's all representations right here uh, mentioned, and also uh, representations not only of almonds, but kind of an olive-like representation. And uh, there's no tree that has both got almonds and olives on it. The almond parts is more related to Egypt and the Exodus, and the olive tree part would be more related perhaps to when God's people finished their journey and went back and they're back living and dwelling in the promised land where they're growing and tending olive trees. Stewart in his commentary said something quite interesting on page 577. He suggested that uh, this almost certainly was in charge with more than just giving light into the sanctuary in interior, but that this would also in surely in some sense represent the tree of life. Remember back in the book of Genesis. Remember, this is part of a, a complex of scripture that begins in Genesis 1, and it, it goes out through several books, or at least through Exodus chapter 40. So this first sort of chunk or division of scripture uh, is included sort of in the Genesis piece. So yes, that, that could be. Uh, the shape of it like a tree, it's giving light, it's perpetual. Uh, interesting bits. It says here that it would be made all of one thing. It's all one solid mass of gold. This isn't overlaid. This is all one solid piece. And you know, a tree, a tree is kind of like all one thing too, isn't it? Uh, it's all one piece. So that's a similarity. So at different places like Zechariah 4 and some other places, we have these representations of trees, like there's two trees. And, uh, and yet it also could be that uh, the, the same way it is in the original language, when it talks about two trees, it really could represent one tree. You've seen a tree that was attached at, at some space, but it was really had multiple uh, branches or trunks. So we don't want to push this too hard, the two tree thing. This is, but I think there's an interesting relation between these two bits. So uh, just today we're starting and we'll finish tomorrow morning talking about the menorah or the candlestick. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you.